guys, Squirrel Blonde Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with Ben 10 Alien Force, where at last time uh, we were watching two teenagers who are like aliens. They were plumbers. Forcing, forcing people into what they thought was the sweet embrace of death, but actually <laughs> turns out might be the uh, null void. It's the null void, and that's also where Pierce went, They're the one's brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and but, no one else is there. Right? But they were another plumber kid, though. And we've met plumber, several plumber, plumber kids plumber that kids. are basically all also aliens or half -breeds. You know what other plumber kid went there? Mario. Grandpa. Oh. That's not a kid. He used, used to be. That's a go! Oh, puzzle bill. Sure this thing is gonna work? <gasps> Your time machine has cost the U.S. government a pretty penny, doctor. I know that voice. Oh, it's a match. A or something. Time machine in the sense of a vehicle. Oh, I mean, he sounds like a colonel, I'm sure. Designed to bore a tunnel in the fabric of space time. <gasps> it's a stargate! Cost. I think the alleviation of untold human suffering throughout history is ample justification. Is that Peter Cushing? It'll also it give our like red buddies overseas a thing or two to think about. But to answer your first question, there is only one way to find it. He definitely out. has Tarkin's cape. <laughs> Jim Cushing's in a lot of these kind of movies. No way, because he would have passed away. I would imagine. Yeah, he would have passed by this point. It could be someone doing a Russian. They could have. It's a Peter Cushing impersonator. Doctor, I'm, I'm frightened. Have a gumball. It'll calm your nerves. I don't think that. Yeah, you're right. That's what they're doing. That's yeah. <laughs> it's an impersonator. <laughs> it's going to bore us. A tunnel through space time through his chest! I've only ever seen Peter Cushing in Star Wars. Oh, you haven't seen any of the Frankenstein stuff? I haven't or seen Dracula. Biggles Adventures in Time? Never seen him in Damn, you're missing out. He lives what in Tower does Bridge. What that have to do with well, anything? Obviously, that was old, and then he was a time wormhole, and he's gonna show up in the present. So they weren't watching a movie? I don't think so. Why was it like a movie? That was another was child old. that went into the null void. Because they filmed that on old cameras. <laughs> you fools! Wait, <laughs> so it was real? Wait, yeah, who was filming it. that, though? It's just the camera crew they hired. Hank Azaria from... No, you know what? I don't think it was filmed. We were just watching it. From right? Godzilla. Yeah, we're probably just watching it. That's what it was. Yeah, but, but then it was, why was it like it that? It was the style. It was just black and white to be old. To make you think, hey, this is real old. It's like when my kids asked... You know, way back in the day, children was, understood this. My kids asked, "Was life in color?" Way back in the day, <laughs> you know, Grandpa understood this. Must have been some pretty serious research. Check out these walls. Fifty years later, and there's still no way in. <laughs> no way. In scouts right here. <laughs> he should look around whenever he gets here. And these are lizard bones. They're fossilized. And they're not the only thing. He tried to call. He was probably on hold. The trail goes to the police station, then to those, I guess, their apartments. These could be signs of serious DNA alien activity, and it's up to us. DNA aliens are not doing this. Does that look like a DNA alien to you? Oh my Whoa. God! Yes, it does. Finally, uh. something worth the guess. Dude, he's gonna he's fossilize, fossilize you. you. Roll a stone! What is it? Is Whoa. That from the live action movie? Uh oh. Oh, we can talk. Don't stand there and you don't have to look. I don't remember that one. They ran to the building. <clears throat> the heck was that? But it looks like this base was built for some kind of time experiment called Project Paradox. Project Who Paradox. wouldn't pick the desert outside Bellwood to do top secret research? Whoever he was, his paradox theory was the basis of some kind of experimental tunnel through time. Redacted. Looks like my place after that big party I threw last weekend. That's dude, so everything's a stretch. That's really cool. Look, that thing's been here too. Or it came from here. here. It either came in here and vanished, or it was born here. Disposed. Like a fourth dimensional being or something? Oh. Disposed. Throw my fire! What a coward done it. <laughs> Disposed. Swamp fire. That takes me back. Or is it forward? It's so hard to tell, Ben. Have we met? 
a river song. Do you know my name? Have we met yet, I suppose the question was. <laughs> you didn't happen to see a space-time anomaly around here, did you? About yay big, incredibly destructive, virtually unstoppable? No! I must have been thinking of another moment. Ta-da! <laughs> Ta-da! Ta He's gonna walk away. Lurdy? They didn't answer any of his questions. He's out there. He's obviously connected to that creature. We need to talk to him. Oh yeah. We'll talk. Well, he knows your name too. That's uh, right after the pounding. Oh Kevin. Whoa. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's just chasing him, He's just staring. Stop it! He hasn't like done anything. Why did he throw yet? the chair? Was I in there? His name is Dr. Cushing, right? Public property, you know. I thought it was okay. How move so fast? You mean, how do I move so quickly? It's called walking. <laughs> what a troll. Really? <laughs> Those trails, they're not burn marks, they're age. The creature accelerates time. Very good. Not so fast, ugly. No! Weren't you listening? You fool! Oh, uh, old hand. Oh, old face. No. Old Kevin. Kevin. <gasps> well, where's my teeth? His teeth must be on the street. Kevin. Because they just fell out. He's swallowed him. Gravel. Years? I'm gonna kick that thing's keister. Boy. Are you okay? <laughs> Boy. <laughs> you're nearsighted, arthritic, your reflexes are shot, and you're trying to unlock a cactus. <laughs> Doesn't stop every other old person. You yep. Should have got out with me when I was young. And <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Go! What is this thing? The time monster. Okay, this though. is what the watch need to absorb that. Oh, go forward! Go forward! This is what it would look like if the Silent Angels or whatever, Doctor Who, you could see him move. <laughs> Weeping angels? Weeping angels. Look like the mages from Persona 4. Ben is also a voice in that game. No. Oh, Restify! No. Rust buckets back, baby! Interior is okay, though. Hang on. What? Ben, you fool! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Hold him. Okay. He can't get us on the roof. Man. You are driving. never driving my car again. Mm, you might slow us down. I need to fix that. We'll come back right over there. What the? That's pretty Whoa. cool. Kevin. Is old Kevin gone? I can't believe it. You're good as new. Well, my back still hurts a Wait little. Up. If I could just lean on you. When I'm not sure. All right, Professor. If you wouldn't mind fixing my car. How exactly do you expect me to do that? I'm a time traveler, not a body shop. Regressing a car would break all the chronal laws of space-time and- Okay, enough. I want answers now. Same old Ben Tennyson. You're even more like yourself now than you were in the future. Which, for obvious reasons, I can't really tell you about. Hmm. You want me to hurt him? What can you tell us, Mr. Paradox? Paradox? Oh, yes, that'll do. That'll do very nicely. I'll tell you my story in a way you can understand, with a beginning, middle, and end. We'll start in the middle. Okay. <laughs> Your Soledad was built entirely because of my ingenious theory. A time tunnel utilizing the properties I discovered in quartz crystals, which would allow us access to past and future events. Yeah, well, for a genius, looks like you blew it. You don't know the half of it. Some tiny miscalculation on my part destabilized the experiment and ripped a hole in the fabric of reality. I was hurled into the event horizon. Hmm. I must have spent 100,000 years there. I didn't age or need to sleep or 
eat just exists. I remember. <laughs> Sounds pretty boring. At first I went mad, of course. But after a few millennia, I got bored with that too and went <laughs> sane. <laughs> I began to That's learn. hilarious. I now have total understanding of the space-time continuum, allowing me to travel anywhere and any when I want, within reason. Within reason? So where's your time machine? What's the reason? He doesn't have a time machine. He has a map in his head. Exactly. This extra-dimensional creature came into our plane of reality the moment my experiment went awry. Hmm. Uh, so just to be clear, it's your fault. This creature hasn't been lurking around here for 50 years. We would know about it. Time is like a river. It moves, flows, and bends. 50 years ago, I accidentally set up a depth charge in that river. The creature I released was blasted 50 years through time to your present. Doing this to your future. But all it's doing is messing up an old army base. For Why now. Why is that a problem at all? Why not just leave it alone? That's a better question for the man on the moon. What? Who's the man on the moon? I am. What? I was going to say, Luther? We're on the moon. No, we're on the moon in your distant future. What? How the are we not suffocating? Gone. Good question. Not remotely the point, though. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> question. Not a pretty sight, is it? What are you doing here? I'm allowing myself to feel the what? full impact of my failure. Okay, who's he? He's a parallel paradox. Young Ben has an innate sense of transtemporal metaphysics, which will serve him well in his future. Or should I say past? Okay. I drive good, too. We can breathe on the moon in the future, but you can't fix my car? <laughs> what should I do? Well, obviously not what I did. But whatever you do, you better do it quickly. Time is running out. You saved the world dozens of times. Hundreds, actually. In fact, on one occasion, you and I worked together to save the entire universe. Never mind. Hmm. It should be here, any... You could set your watch by it. You could use this to fix any continuity issue ever. Mm. Yeah. The gumballs. Gumball. Just wanted a gumball. Doesn't everything age into oblivion as soon as they touch it? Gumballs last a really long time. <laughs> Look under your desk at school. Now get back. Yeah, hit him with rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Professor Paradox. Let go. He'll age you into dust. I exist outside of time. <laughs> well, I can still feel the eons passing. Whoa. Paradox, take us back to the accident now. But I told you, just do it. Oh. Kevin Gwen, the lab, quick. You just keep that thing occupied. K keep it occupied. I'm a time traveling hero. I don't keep things occupied. Sure, this thing is going to work. Your time machine has cost the U.S. government a pretty penny, Doctor. As to cost, I think the alleviation of untold human suffering throughout history is ample justification, General. Why would it use the phone? What? The creature. It tried to use the payphone. Then it went to the police station, then the dorms. It didn't act like some unfathomable trans-dimensional creature. It did everything a normal person would do. If they suddenly found themselves in an abandoned military base. Do they both go in to the other one's the assistant, maybe? Yes. Yeah. Uh, save him! Save him! Jet Ray! Ben! You get sucked in along with him! I need to put on a little weight. Uh-huh. Humongous. Humongous. Wait, no, how do you do that? Wait till yeah, too soon, guys. I messed up last time because I thought I was cool. Trust me, this beats the old 
alternative. <laughs> to be taken by a giant dinosaur. Out of nowhere. Right. Shoot it, that'll help. Hopefully this ah. works. <laughs> no, they made a singularity. So you can get rid of him, but you can't get rid of him. Yay! Hugo, of course. Oh, yeah. If it were a snake, it would have bit me. <laughs> but you're not so smug. I would have figured it out eventually. You had a hundred thousand years. <laughs> Well, I have to Poor admit, Hugo. <laughs> never gonna get answers. <laughs> All those centuries trapped in the event horizon, and it never occurred to me that the accident wasn't my fault. You're much smarter than you were when I met you later. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you guess. I lived my life. Oh. Hugo, how are you? Well, you look the same, and I <laughs> haven't seen you in 50 years. Well, I haven't seen you in a hundred thousand years, but you don't look that bad. How was your life? Good, a uh, good life. But I'm, I'm sorry about the experiment. I ruined everything. I never got to time travel. Would you still like to? Technically, everyone's yes. traveling through time. I'm not afraid anymore. I'd be rather glad to yes. hear it. How about I give you a behind-the-scenes look at eternity? <gasps> yes. I want to watch this cartoon. <laughs> Paradox and Hugo. Looks like a it's very Doctor Who. Yeah, <laughs> old Johnny Quest. Yeah. At least he's got company now. Oh, and thanks for uh, stranding us out here in the middle of nowhere. Come on, we've got a long walk. Maybe home. your car's fixed. <laughs> oh, stoked! It looks like new. It doesn't just look like new. It is new. It's factory new from 30 years ago. Uh, low miles, sell everything it. Everything I was about to say about you. <laughs> I was about to say. Kevin, try to keep in mind that if this car comes into contact with anything else from 1976, it will explode like antimatter. Enjoy. You mean dirt? He's kidding, right? Well, I'm saying displaced out of it, right? right? I mean. Isn't it? Guys? That would be terrible. Yeah! Have an accident at a car show? Boom! <laughs> I, uh, I was, I was really intrigued, because, like, halfway through, I was thinking, like, I, you know, sometimes you're trying to guess the story before it's happening, but I was like, man, this would be brilliant if, like, this guy is, like, one of their worst enemies, but once he realized that it's the first time they've met him, he could really, like, sell that, <laughs> you know? But it seems like he's gonna be an ally. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah. A good guy. So. Oh, cool. All right. And Dave McCallum, that's Ducky from NCIS. Yes, it. I don't know if you guys are watching NCIS. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See some clips? Sounded a lot like. Uh, man, why did I lose his name? Kurt, the, the guy Kurt, you mentioned? Yeah. Cushing? Peter Cushing. Cushing. Yeah. I was like, did he say someone else? I thought they said Dr. Cushing at the beginning. I don't remember that. Yeah. But they might have. Yeah. Or you just he said Cushing, and you're just like, ah, oh, Dr. Cushing. That very well. That's who he is. Yeah. Very possible to have happened. But they might have, but I don't I know. I got Hugo. I fight Dr. Cushing. Los Saladad Research Facility. That was a crazy episode. Yeah, it was a crazy episode. Dude, I love I him. It. Like it fun. Just going wherever he wants. Like, he just, he has a power of just, he understands the time stream, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Immensely. Like, he can just go wherever he wants, do whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, cool. he, he can't lose it. He can't drop it. He's, he can't get it stolen. He's been awakened to the fourth dimension. Yeah, yeah. and he's eons old. Right when he, when it was sucking up his like he can't age or he's not subject to it. But he said he could feel the flow of time. Well, what's that feeling? I'm trying to think of what it would feel like to. Age. I don't know, but it, it drove him mad. Yeah, it's like and then you he never, got like, bored of it, and like, he went sane. <laughs> like you, you're always shedding skin, but you do it at such a slow rate, you don't notice it's happening, right? Yeah. But like, is he feeling it? Like, ah, like the skin being like pulled off or something? You know? Does it feel like you're what's in that Sprite? Like? Dude, what's it like to be? He he was there so long that like I understand like if you have nothing, you're bored, you're yeah. in this void, you're gonna go crazy. Yeah. But what he was there so long that he went crazy and yeah, then went, went sane. Yeah, that was funny. I like, that. <laughs> like that's nuts. But like, what's it? What's your mouth taste like if you don't brush it for a hundred thousand years? You know, what well, does it feel like to age that much. Your teeth fall out. Apparently, I guess after so. only fifty. Yeah. <laughs> and you swallow. Uh -huh. I love 
I love Doctor Who because it is a fun, campy show, but it also gives me all of these terms that I, I can explain very complex things very simply. <laughs> it's like when this happened in That's, this episode. I immediately was like, oh, it's a river song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I know it immediately. And then he made the river analogy. He did make the river analogy. Mm -hmm. He has chronal laws, but I don't know what the exact laws are other than things out of time from the same time can't touch. Unless he's messing with them. He could be messing with them. That could be yeah, a lie. He, he claimed that it would break every chronal law, but then he just did it. He didn't do it exactly. Like, he didn't fix the car, right? He, like, brought the car back from, from the factory. Yeah. I was also wondering, like, was there two Hugos Both. then? Like, yeah. we went back and we stopped him from falling through the thing, right? Yeah. And then we destroyed that thing. Yeah. yeah. And then the monster outside turned into Hugo. Yep. So well, there's all two Cushings mm -hmm. in the same scene, yeah. right? It, that's the that's the brilliant well, part of it. With Paradox, it. you can do that, right? In Paradox, you can do anything, pretty much. Like, he can, you can have five of him show yeah. up, because he can just travel rent around and whatnot. But mm -hmm. the Hugo was a weird one. I don't know. I was what? like, wait, should he have never been that? Like, why was he holding Hugo? Like, in theory, that guy should have just disappeared. Well, but... Like, Hugo went through the same thing, right? He just turned into a monster instead. But they stopped him from doing that. Well, that him. was, that was in the I'm past, saying. though. They, yeah, he went they, through that. They stopped him from going through that, which means the thing that Paradox was fighting should have just vanished because it would have never existed, right? Yeah. It's kind of like what in Back to the Future, when they went back, and if you don't have the parents get together, yeah. the kids in the future are going to disappear. There shouldn't, like, well, now there's going to be two of them. <laughs> He didn't, he didn't go into it, but it's a, there's a possibility that with every action he takes, he's creating an infinite amount of universes. I mean, I guess. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe. Also, but that's in a very one, interesting question, but shut up. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> Good question. No answer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more confused as to why we were, like, watching a 60s B-movie in the beginning of this. Because it was old. Why was it in sepia? Why was it... It is not more... Complicated than this is old. I don't. It's old. No. It's what it let is. us know. It's, old. it's like it's not deeper. It's just, we've seen old it's things in Ben Ten before. It it's never been like that. But this one was to give like a feeling of an, like an old sci-fi in the you know, '60s, and they did a, a thing. And now we're going to bring a character like that into the into this present. What would have been really cool is if they went back to the uh, static textures from like season from one. Early ben 10. 10. Season one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like whenever they have. Uh, like a dream sequence, and it has like a little bit of a different look to it, or whatever, right? Just to help show, like, wait, because this is a sequence we're in here, but it's different. Yeah, I'm, right? fine, but like we've gone back in the past before, and I feel like we've <clears throat> just gotten like dates or whatever. True. Have we gone back in the past? In Ben Ten, we've uh, even if we sure had, we if even if we hadn't, like, like I, they are trying to just be like, hey guys, remember the feeling of these old Universal movies that have these crazy scientists? Yeah. You have that feeling? All right, let's go. <laughs> That's what all they're doing. There's nothing deeper than that. But I get you. It can be a little confusing for an adult trying to put meaning to everything. But sometimes, who cares? It's for kids, sure. you know? They're just having fun with the media. Yeah. Hmm. I think that's all it is. But, but kids won't even recognize this. One kid. One right? nerd out there like, is like, ah, ha, ha, yes! <laughs> like a kid will have no idea what's going on. Yeah. I mean, sometimes there's things put in the cartoons that aren't made for the kids and they're made for the adults. I know, but that's what I'm saying. I'm an adult, and I don't understand. Hey, think about this. Was, Maybe these kids, there's a kid a that loves Ben 10 and Forest. He's obsessed. He knows every single episode title, all the lines. He can quote it, and he sees, like, a clip of one of the old Hammer, you know, pictures. And he's like, oh, that's like that Ben 10 episode. I'm going to watch this. Like, if it if happened to one kid, then it's worth it. Yeah. Because those are, no, kids aren't going back and watching this. You know, I, I don't, it is. If there's I don't go back kid. and watch them. You know, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they're fun. You, that kid's not gonna know what movies are. They <laughs> are very important. <laughs> the things you show that child <laughs> terrify me. <laughs> <laughs> Miami Connection, Terry <laughs> Pop, <laughs> Room, <laughs> scary. He's preparing her for the worst possible scenarios. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Were we any better? Like, you go back and you watch the things that you watched as a kid. It's like, this was terrible. Yeah. What was yeah, I terrible. Thinking? Oh, yeah. Who cares? It's art. It's like, what? It's like, mean. like Three Ninjas. Three Ninjas is, is not old. Sad sure. to say. Yeah. The Land of Far Away. Not a good movie. Love What's it. the it's one with the kangaroo that karate? That's, uh... Warriors of Virtue. Warriors of Virtue. Warriors of Virtue. Yeah. I haven't seen that in a long time. Hey, it makes you mad, but after a while, you watch it long enough, you become sane again. <laughs> Land before time. 
I'm glad. That's I great. love it. Good. I I love stuff that I can go back and watch and realize, oh, this was not good. Because I love the idea that when I was a kid, I did not care about the quality. I only cared about the experience. Yeah, it's fun. And it's so many things. Yeah. So many and things give me a great experience. Like, thank God I watched Mortal Kombat the first one when I was a kid. Because if I watched it now, I'd have been like, oh, this isn't very good. <laughs> but the child in me is like, you shut the That's fuck up. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> There's well, moments that aren't very good. <laughs> I wonder if hey, some I of, enjoyed it as yeah, an adult. I, you did. I wonder if some of it, too, is like the things you get nowadays are so much more than what you see then, too, you yeah. know? Like, there's, there's more money put into that kind of thing and more possibilities that they do. Sure. And you go back and you watch some of those things, and it's like, yeah. you could have done this, could've. right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Like, <clears throat> you watch, like, some Kurosawa stuff, and there's, like, armies on the screen. It's like, yeah, they just did that. Mm-hmm. Ben Hur. Why don't they do that now? That's what they do. Well, we will. They're just well, all these little AI guys. That the problem is that the back then, they didn't pay them well, or yeah. didn't give them water. They don't pay them well now. Water. Well, they. It was a lot worse back then. <laughs> <laughs> just think about how. Like, the, the infrastructure to get those extras on the Ben-Hur set. <laughs> you know how much money that was. Think of the parking lot. How much <laughs> How much money it was for uh, Waterworld. Yeah, Waterworld was nuts. Like, ferrying them back and forth to that, like, floating platform that didn't yeah. have a bathroom? No. <laughs> the, the charge Just of... That, that corner. There. <laughs> the ride of the Rohirrim and Return of the King? Yeah. They just, An entire any, country. Anybody that together. had a horse, please come. And we'll most of them were women. Put, like, a cape... Yeah. Some leather on you. Yeah, most of them are women, so they just put on beards. <laughs> the stick on beards. Yeah. yeah. It's nuts. Good for them. How do we start with this? There's great stuff. Time travel. Paradox, right. Yeah. Stop asking questions. Yep. Thank you guys for watching our reaction to Ben 10 Alien Force Classic. You won't get that if you don't have full length. You can check out patreon.com so you can watch full length. It's a very funny joke. We laugh every time we say it. Rick says it. I never, Except him. I never laugh. I don't, I don't get it. Why Just like this? the glory. What? You laugh at the glory too? <laughs>